There was a time when people could leave their front doors open, their kids played in the road, and everyone in the street was like a member of the family. Those days still exist, but only for Cornish divvies. The rest of us spend our lives trembling in fear behind locked doors. For more on this disturbing trend, here's Paul Garner with a special report. How'd you get into my house? I'm a burglar, and I got in because of your inadequate security measures. <laughs> now stop pumping the skirt and give us all your cash. <laughs> they say an Englishman's home is his castle, <laughs> but without proper security, you may as well have lowered the drawbridge and drained the moat, leaving your property an easy target for the home intruder. Dogs like Sherlock here can make great loving pets, but ask any police officer and he'll tell you they're also the best deterrent against burglars, even more so than an expensive alarm. If you can't afford a dog, or like me, you're banned from keeping one because of past convictions for cruelty, <laughs> here's a few ideas that could cheaply and effectively make your home more secure. Buy yourself a deterrent sound alarm. Some people have those which play a recording of a dog barking if an intruder tries to enter the property. But with burglars now familiar with the dog recordings, we recommend using one of the other settings. You're going to get your fucking head You're going to get your fucking head Fit steel trip wires in your home. An intruder who trips is likely to be scared off by the experience. A note of caution. Always remember to disconnect the wires apart from when you are asleep. Whoops! <laughs> Better still, discard your own sexual preferences and shack up with a copper. If you do get broken into, he'll know exactly how to deal with an intruder. Right, you're nicked. You can, of course, spend a fortune on expensive security devices. But at the end of the day, simple common sense is by far the most effective way of keeping your home's intruder free. Secure your windows, double lock your doors, and don't go on holiday when the fair's in town. This is Paul Garner, <laughs> The 11 O'Clock Show, in Essex.